हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज वॉट इज चार्जशीट इन द क्रिमिनल केस माई लेसन प्लान इंक्लूड्स वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज वॉट इज ए चार्जशीट हाउ ए चार्जशीट इज प्रिपेयर इन ए क्रिमिनल केस कैन ए चार्जशीट बी क्वेस्ट इन द क्रिमिनल प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड फाइनली कंक्लूजन नाउ फ्रेंड्स यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट गेव द वर्डिक्ट ऑन फ्राइडे दैट ए स्टेट इज नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज टू प्रोवाइड द पब्लिक फ्री एक्सेस टू चार्जशीट बाई अपलोडिंग दैम ऑन पुलिस और गवर्नमेंट वेबसाइट ए बेंच ऑफ जस्टिस एम आर शाह एंड सी टी रवि कुमार डिक्लेयर चार्जशीट प्राइवेट डॉक्यूमेंट्स टेकिंग द क्लू फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन जजमेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिगार्डिंग एफ आई आर टू बी पब्लिश विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑन पुलिस और गवर्नमेंट वेबसाइट इट वॉज कंटेंडेड दैट पुटिंग चार्जशीट इन पब्लिक डोमेन विल इनहस पब्लिक ट्रांसपेरेंसी बट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट व्यूड दैट पुटिंग चार्जशीट इन द पब्लिक डोमेन विल वायलेट द राइट ऑफ द एक्यूज विक्टिम्स एंड इवन द इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एजेंसी इट वुड बी कंट्री टू द स्कीम ऑफ सी आर पी सी द जजमेंट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिगार्डिंग एफ आई आर टू बी पब्लिश इन द पब्लिक डोमेन वॉज मीन टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द एक्यूज एंड टू इंश्योर दैट इनोसेंट एक्यूज आर नॉट हेरेस्ट एंड दे आर नॉट टेकन बाई सरप्राइज द कोर्ट सेट दैट कॉपी ऑफ द चार्जशीट एलॉन्ग विद नेसेसरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स कैन नॉट बी सेट ए पब्लिक डॉक्यूमेंट विद इन द डिफिनीशन ऑफ पब्लिक डॉक्यूमेंट एज पर सेक्शन सेवेंटी फोर ऑफ द एविडेंस एक्ट The court also held that copy of the charge sheet and relevant document do not fall within section 41b of the RTI Act. What is a charge sheet? Friends, as you know that both in the criminal proceeding and in civil proceeding, a charge sheet is frame on which an accused can be prosecuted in the court of law or in the department of proceedings. today i am myself restricting to the charge sheet in a criminal proceedings so a charge sheet refers to a formal police record showing the names of each person brought into the custody the nature of accusations and the identity of the accusers it contains information about the accused and the witnesses charges and a specification summary of charges and for the trial record once the charge sheet has been submitted to a court of law trial against the accused starts as soon as investigation is completed officer in charge of the police station shall forward to a magistrate empowered to take cognizance of the offense on police report report in the form of prescribed by the state government stating number 1 the names of the parties number 2 nature of the information number 3 name of the person who are acquainted to the circumstances of the case number 4 whether any offense appears to be committed and if so by whom number 5 whether the accused has been arrested number 6 whether he has been released on a bond and if so with or without sureties number 7 whether he has been forwarded under custody under section 170 of the crpc number 8 the officer shall also communicate the action taken by him to the person by whom information regarding commission of offense was first given The time limit to file the charge sheet is to be within 60 days to the date of arrest of accused in the cases tried by lower court and 90 days in cases tried by court of session. Supreme Court held that section 167 bracket 2 bracket A bracket 1 of the CRPC is applicable only in cases where the accused is charged with a offence punishable with death, life imprisonment, or offences. punishable with minimum sentences of 10 years in all cases where the minimum sentence is less than 10 years but the maximum sentence is not death or life imprisonment then section 167 bracket 2 bracket a bracket 2 will apply and the accused will be entitled to grant a default bail after 60 days in case charge sheet is not filed friends now i switch over to another point how a charge sheet is prepared in a criminal case Number 1 when a cognizable offence occurs in the jurisdiction of a police station the officer in charge of the police station is bound to write FIR FIR may be information given in writing or oral 
A copy of a file must be given free of cost to the informant. If his complaint is not registered in the police station, he can send complaint to SP of the district who shall direct the investigation of the case. Anybody who is acquainted with the case can file first information report at the police station. After registration of crime, a copy is to be sent to the senior officer while another copy is sent to investigating officer while the third copy is kept as record at the police station. Investigating officer takes the statements of witnesses, informants, inspects the scene of crime, gathers physical evidences, if any, makes seizure memo and all relevant evidences necessary to prosecute the accused. Once the investigation is completed, a charge is framed by investigating officer and then it is submitted to the jurisdictional court for trial. Friends, can a charge sheet in a criminal proceeding be quashed? Yes, the Supreme Court held that the criminal proceeding can be quashed when the complaint on the basis of which FIR was registered doesn't disclose any act of the accused or their participation in the commission of crime. The Supreme Court also issued the guidelines in case of Bajanlal versus State of Haryana and these are where the uncontroverted allegations made in the first information report or complaint and the evidence collected in the support of the same do not disclose commission of, of any offense and make out a case against the accused. Number two, where the allegations made in FIR or complaint is so absurd and inherently improbable on the basis of which no prudent person ever reaches just conclusion that there is a sufficient ground for proceeding against the accused White Ramesh Chandra Gupta versus State of UP. So friends, Supreme Court has clearly given the guidelines on which a charge sheet or FIR can be quashed. Under 482 CRPC, High Court has the inherent power to quash an FIR or charge sheet against the accused if no cognizable offense is disclosed or there is no sufficient evidence against the accused. Conclusion Friends, as you know that charge sheet is the sum total of investigation done by investigating officer. It contains evidences against the accusers, statements of informants and witnesses, relevant documents, medical examination reports. It is on the basis of charge sheet. The magistrate frames the charges against the accused and then trial starts. During trial, examinations in chief, cross examinations and re examinations take place. On the basis of examinations of witnesses, accused and documents, the court arrives at the conclusion as to whether the accused are guilty of offense or not. And then court award sentence to the accused if found guilty. The accused can appeal against the judgment of the court in the high court. And if death penalty is awarded to accused, that must be ascertained by Supreme Court. So friends, now I conclude my lecture. If you like my lecture, please share and subscribe and tell your friends that I am making regular videos on current topics. Please share and subscribe. Thank you.